to say that the city of Harrisburg is currently preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. And uh, we got some very good news here just uh, within the last half hour or so. And the current uh, hydrographics uh, predict the crest of the Susquehanna River to only be 18.3 feet. Uh, that has been revised down from 19.1 earlier, uh, earlier in the day. Um, but uh, we know the predictions can change, so we are anticipating at this time and preparing for uh, what we would characterize as minor flooding. Uh, that is going to include the closure of City Island tomorrow. Uh, we are relocating uh, all the parkers and uh, please don't come to City Island tomorrow. We, uh, we are anticipating the parking lot will take on water and will require a cleanup. Also with the help of the fire department, we have circulated flyers to Harrisburg residents in various neighborhoods, especially in Shipoak and in the 3200 block of Green Street where we're anticipating uh, basements flooding and uh, things like that. We've given some tips. Most of the homeowners know what to do. Um, shut your power off if, if it gets near electrical boxes, stay away, uh, you know, make sure your drains are clear, these sorts of things. Um, and at this stage, we have also worked with city staff and we are prepared to constitute our emergency operations center at the city, as well as um, to uh, declare things a disaster if and when we were to get to that point which would mobilize a whole nother uh, level of, uh, of things. But at this point, I think we, it's fair to say uh, minor flooding and we're making preparations, the least of which are, are the closure of City Island tomorrow. But uh, let me introduce our fire chief and uh, our, our primary spokesperson on this matter, Mr. Chief Brian Antelope. All right, thanks, Mayor. Um, so the Mayor is, is correct. Um, we've been watching uh, the, the hydrographs over the last several days. It has been a, uh, a real ride for us uh, watching and preparing. Um, we set our sights um, once we uh, had that 19.9 uh, that was released this morning about 3.30. Uh, we set our sights and all of our preparations from that point forward became a 20-foot crest. So everything that you see the city doing um, from the police side of things uh, in, in their preparations, public works and the fire bureau, we are anticipating still um, a 20 foot crest. We want to be prepared for that. We can't go back if we're wrong. So we, we're, everything we're doing is, is in preparation for that. Uh, public works uh, has been working diligently clearing the island. We had them over here uh, earlier today clearing the island, some other low lying areas. Working uh, obviously with the Harrisburg Senators, uh, affecting the uh, the games over the next several days. They had equipment and things that they had to move, uh, and making sure that the, the public um, is informed and kept abreast of all the uh, developing uh, issues that, that we've been dealing with, uh, and that, that included last night uh, the fire bureau going out and delivering uh, information to door to door residents in, on Green Street uh, in Uptown as well as the entire Shipeoke neighborhood. Um, those are all preparations that, that um, are necessary and required so that we can weather this storm uh, together. And uh, we, we know that uh, the city is, is prepared from an emergency standpoint. We have, uh, again, Public Works is prepared for the cleanup already. We're already focusing and looking to what the cleanup's going to require. Um, short term, uh, our emergency personnel have checked all of our boats, um, so our entire boat fleet and, and personnel fleet is ready to go in the event that we do have to uh, start rescuing folks if things go um, higher than anticipated at that 20-foot crest. Uh, the, a couple other things that we've been doing um, in, involve, uh, you know, obviously the education of the public, putting that information out. Uh, we are also, um, as the mayor said, closing City Island. That was a, a decision that we had to make this morning as well as events in Riverfront Park and uh, obviously here on the island, just for the safety of our residents and any potential visitors coming in. That was a difficult decision to make, but with that 20-foot crest, we had to ensure that we were focusing on that and ensuring that the, the public will be safe uh, you know, going forward here. So uh, Harrisburg Fire, Harrisburg uh, Public Works, Harrisburg Police, and the city of Harrisburg uh, is ready and able to uh, assist uh, residents in need as we go through this uh, unknown time the next two, three days ahead of us. Uh, we will be working and have been uh, updating Dolphin County uh, with our progress through situational reports uh, so that they know the uh, any unmet needs that we have. And we're happy to say at this point in time, the city currently has no unmet needs. All of our resources are uh, focused on the flood effort. 
uh, and you know our thoughts uh, and resources could be available for those that, that are being affected outside of the city once we see um, where our flooding ends up uh, here in the next day or so uh, because we know that there are a lot of unmet needs and a lot of issues uh, outside the city here regionally uh, due to the amount of rainfall that we saw locally. We are at, at currently at normal staffing levels. We do have uh, a matrix that we will go to for additional staffing in the event that we do have flooding, and that will bring uh, both police, fire, and public works folks in on an overtime status to deal with the disaster if that's required. What's the city going to be doing to shore up the glass wall after rains? I'm sorry. I just talking about the collapsed wall. Well, uh, the uh, collapsed wall, if you're referring to the one uh, above Howard Tire, that is not city property, that is private property. We'll monitor that situation, but in terms of shoring up the wall, that would be the responsibility of the property owner. Any other questions? I think one of the things that we the see, the, the yep. river, yeah, exactly. Um, you know, one of the things that are, are always uncertain with flowing water is what has that water underneath the surface done to the banks? Um, and, and we're talking globally here, not just the Susquehanna River, but the small creeks and streams in not only Harrisburg, but the surrounding region. Understand that they're being undermined, and there's a potential, if you get too close, say, even 10 feet away, that you could uh, fall in because there's nothing underneath of you. And that's, that's something we see a lot uh, with, uh, you know, with, with banks of the river, creeks, and streams. And uh, unfortunately, lives are taken every year um, for those that get too close. Yeah, I would say uh, stay away from the, the Susquehanna, stay at a safe distance, and recognize that as the, uh, as the depth increases, the velocity at the top of the river speeds up. And uh, it's a very, very powerful force, and it can be admired, but only from a safe distance. They are obviously uh, staffed. Yep. We don't, we don't want anyone to come over on City Island. Uh, we also would encourage people just to give us time to clean up after this. Once the waters recede, uh, especially um, along the, the river walk and in the parks and on City Island, we're going to have to get our street sweepers out, our dump trucks out, our, 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 our plows out to clean up the mud. And, and uh, there's going to be some, some time spent in that. So it would be good if people could, could, could stay back. That's part of the message here. City Island will be closed tomorrow. And please uh, stay off the island. Right now you're not planning to uh, do any mandatory evacuations. Right. Change that and help, help what happen when those mandatory evacuations happen. Sure. Sure. Uh, at this point, um, with the forecast, and, and again, our, our forecast and everything that we're doing right now is based on a 20 foot crest. There are no evacuations needed in the city of Harrisburg with a 20 foot crest of the Susquehanna River. However, if we were to get data in later today, tomorrow, from the Middle Atlantic, Mid -Atlantic River Forecast Center, that um, says that we're gonna be at 23, 24 feet, then we're gonna to start to notify residents in those flood prone areas that they will most likely be evacuated. Uh, and that's, you know, that's, that's important. Um, and that's why we, we're sticking with the 20 foot level so we have all of our bases covered at the 20 foot in the event um, something catastrophic happens, we have more rain in the basin than anticipated, we can then up that to be able to evacuate, safely evacuate and notify those residents. When was the last time you had evacuations? The last time was 2011 with Hurricane Lee. Do you have any gauge on what the damage is looking right, looking like right now as of uh, these past couple days? Well, from the from the from the Susquehanna River here, it's going to be I, what I would characterize as minor. But we're monitoring the uh, we're monitoring the situation, and things could change. They've already revised the forecast up uh, significantly, and then they started revising it down. And uh, we're going to, as I say, uh, prepare for the worst, but hope for the best. One of, the, one of the interesting uh, things about uh, the situation we're in right now, which is different from previous storms, is that really it's the weather north of here, north of Harrisburg, that uh, is going to affect the, the, the flooding of the river. And since we're, um, since that's the case, uh, you know, people looking outside their windows, that, 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 that's not really what is, uh, is going to make a difference. We're also not anticipating at this time 
um, you know, flooding of, uh, of uh, ancillary flooding that would be caused by massive amounts of rain at the same time. So, um, so that's different about this storm. Yeah. Additionally, one of the things that we look at um, with the Mid-Atlantic Mid River Forecast Center is, uh, is the fact that the, the West Branch of the Susquehanna River as well as the Juniata have not received the rainfall in their basins that were anticipated. So that has driven that down. What we have seen historically, speaking just for the city of Harrisburg, is those river basins, uh, the, the, both those tributaries, significant tributaries, have to have significant water dumping into the main stem of the Susquehanna River that flows through Harrisburg. We are not seeing those numbers at this point, which has given us hope that uh, we're, we're going to be um, in, in pretty good shape keeping with our, our 20 foot estimate. Yep. Yep. How many people living in those susceptible areas like Triangle? Can you tell them right now to do their their belongings to stay Yeah, we, we, as I say, we circulated uh, a sort of uh, a letter to uh, everyone in areas that we, uh, that we think are, are prone to have some basement flooding. Uh, in Shypoke, uh, in uh, in blocks of Green Street, where water can back up through the through the sewer system. Uh, basic, simple advice: keep the storm drains uh, clear. Most people have drains in their basement. You don't want things uh, floating or or uh, covering them up and making it harder. Um, uh, turning off the electrical uh, outlets. Uh, other other common sense tips. Uh, and uh, and then the general tip to uh, you know stay uh, stay at a safe distance from the Susquehanna. Uh, you know, don't drive through uh, uh, through floodwaters. Stay off City Island, and uh, at this point, uh, I think that's the the proper level of precaution. I think most people that live in those areas don't store too many things in their basements, uh, but if there are things down there, they should obviously move them out. And I think the most important thing is that we're working for you. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good, thank you. Excellent. All right.